after studying this module you shall be able to know the molecular orbital theory for the square planar complexes learn about the molecular orbitals involved in the bond formation for the square planar complex formation also you can identify the differentiating parameters for the sigma and pi bonding in square planar complexes you can also analyze the generation of square planar geometry from an octahedral one introduction to the tetra coordinated complexes tetra coordinate in coordination chemistry refers to four ligands tetra coordinated species can form tetrahedral square planar or pyramidal geometries molecular orbital theory for the tetra coordinated complexes can be utilized to construct the molecular orbital diagrams for the complexes in this respect we will consider the tetrahedral as well as the square planar complexes square planar geometry basically defines the stereochemical arrangement of the atoms in a molecule situated at the corners of a square as can be shown in the figure square planar geometry can be obtained from an octahedron by removing of a pair of ligands from the z axis and there are left four ligands in the xy plane the ligand field splitting energy diagram for a square planar geometry can thus be derived from an octahedral diagram square planar geometry basically defines the stereochemical arrangement of the atoms in a molecule situated at the corners of a square square planar geometry can be obtained from an octahedron by removing of a pair of ligands from the z axis and there are left four ligands in the xy plane the ligand field splitting energy diagram for a square planar geometry can thus be derived from an octahedral diagram as shown in the figure as the z ligands move away the ligands in the square plane move a little closer to the metal now the d orbitals with a z component will fall in energy the dz square orbital falls the most as its electrons are concentrated in the lobes along the z axis the dxz and dyz orbitals also drop in energy but not as much conversely the dx square y square and dxy orbitals increase in energy now we will discuss molecular orbital theory for the square planar complexes for square planar complexes molecular orbitals can be described as resulting from the combination of central metal atom accepting a pair of electrons from each of the four sigma donor ligands also pi bonding can take place between the metal and the ligands by either pi donor ligands or pi acceptor ligands we will be discussing the molecular orbital diagrams of both the types one by one first of all we will discuss the sigma bonding the concept of sigma bonding can be understood by taking an example of a square planar complex like the nickel square planar complex with d4h symmetry let us assume that the y axis of 
each ligand is directed towards the central atom. The x-axis is in the plane of the molecule and the z-axis is perpendicular to the plane of the molecule. This can be represented in the figure which shows the coordinate system for the square planar complexes. The PY set of ligand orbitals is used up for the sigma bond formation. There are two distinct set of orbitals for the pi bond formation namely PX set which can also be called as pi parallel since it lies in the plane of the molecule and the other is PZ set also called pi perpendicular because the orbitals of the set lie perpendicular to the plane of the molecule. Firstly, considering that only sigma bonding is taking place in the molecule, we can construct the molecular orbital diagram by combining the suitable ligand group orbitals with that of metal orbitals. The character table for the D4H symmetry point group is represented. The irreducible representation for the bonding in three different directions is also shown, which reflects the ligand group orbitals available for bonding in three different axes. The matching metal orbitals for the sigma bonding in the first transition series as those with lobes in the x, y directions. 3d x square y square comma 4px and 4py with some contributions from the less directed 3dz square and 4s. The contributions from all the other orbitals can be ignored. As can be seen from the molecular orbital diagram, the D4H symmetry splits the D orbitals into three single representations, namely A1G, B1G and B2G for dz square, dx square, y square and dxy respectively and a doubly degenerate e.g. representation for dxz and dyz orbital. The B2G and e.g. levels are non-bonding since there is no ligand orbital available for the matching sigma symmetry. The ligand field splitting parameter denoted by delta is the difference between the antibonding A1G level and the non-bonding EG level. Also, the diagram looks complicated as compared with that of an octahedral complex since in this case the degeneracy has been reduced down due to lowering of symmetry from an octahedral case having OH point group to a square planar symmetry having D4H point group. Now we will discuss pi bonding. The Px and Pz set of ligand group orbitals 
are utilized in the formation of the pi bonds. These two form distinct set of potential pi bonding orbitals. The px set of orbitals lie in the plane of the molecule and thus the pi bonds formed are parallel to the molecular axis. Hence, these can be termed as pi parallel and the other pz set lies at right angle to the plane of the molecule. So, the pi bonds formed will be perpendicular with respect to the molecular axis. These bonds are called pi perpendicular. The respective ligand orbitals with their irreducible representations and the matching metal-based orbitals are given in the character table. The orbital interaction for the pi bond formation can be shown in the figure. The dxy orbital interacts with the px ligand orbitals and the dxz and dyz orbitals interact with the pz ligand orbitals. The b2g orbital is in the plane of the molecule and the two eg orbital lobes lie above and below the plane of the molecule. The py and pz metal orbital lobes have the proper symmetry to form the pi bonds but in actual the effective overlap with the ligand orbitals is not good. Let us take an example of the platinum complex which forms a perfect square planar complex. The molecular orbital diagram which is constructed for the complex seem to be very complicated as displayed but it can be understood if it is broken down in pieces. On the left side of the diagram are lying metal orbitals namely 5D, 4S and 4P and on the right are the ligand based orbitals. The lowest lying in energy are the ligand orbitals engaged in sigma bonding which are also called py set of orbitals above them are lying pi bonding ligand orbitals namely pz and px on the extreme right top end are lying ligand antibonding pi star orbitals. In order to describe the bonding, the molecular orbital diagram has been divided into three parts, namely 1, 2 and 3. Each part need to be taken up separately in order to understand the entire picture. The part 1 is the lowest energy set of molecular orbitals formed by the sigma bonding between metal and the ligands. This part looks quite similar to the molecular orbitals represented before where we have taken sigma bonding only. The next is part 2 which is having molecular orbitals formed by the interaction of pi donor ligand orbitals with that of 
metal orbitals. This type of interaction is rather weak and has an effect of decreasing the energy difference between the orbitals of the next higher energy part. The part 3 is having a set of molecular orbitals which are primarily metal based since they are much closer to the metal orbitals as compared to the ligand orbitals. Eight electrons from the ligands form the sigma bonds. The next 16 electrons from the ligands form weak pi interactions or will remain non-bonding as such. The remaining electrons on the metal ion present will occupy the third part of the orbital diagram. In the case of platinum complex, there are 8 d electrons and occurs a large gap between these d orbital electrons and the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital suggested as LUMO which in this very case is 2A2U molecular orbital. This large gap supports the formation of a diamagnetic complex. Also, the pi star orbitals of the ligand have a role in enhancing this gap. There are a total of three energy gaps mentioned in the diagram. These are represented as delta 1, delta 2 and delta 3 as can be seen from top to the bottom because the B2G and EG are pi orbitals, their energies will change significantly if the ligands are changed. The value of delta 1 is relevant to delta naught and is much greater than the value of delta 2 and delta 3. The pairing energy this actually implies that the B1G or A2U levels are usually empty for the metal ions in cases where the metal ions are having less than 9 electrons. Summary Tetracoordinate in coordination chemistry refers to four ligands or atomic attachments to a single metal center which can form tetrahedral square planar or pyramidal geometries. A square planar geometry basically refers to the stereochemical arrangement of the atoms in the molecule positioned at the corners of a square on the same plane about the central atom. Square planar geometry can be achieved from an octahedron by the removal of a pair of ligands from the z-axis leaving four ligands in the xy plane. As the z ligands move away, the ligands in the square plane move a little closer to the metal. The d orbitals with a z component will fall in energy. The dz square orbital falls the most as its electrons are concentrated in the lobes along the z-axis. The dxz and yz orbitals also drop in energy but not as much. Conversely, the dx square y square orbital and dxy orbital increases in energy. For a square planar complex, molecular orbital diagram can be described as resulting 